I could use any superlative you want. Eye popping, overwhelmingly important. Shockwaves being sent across the country tonight as millennials are now at the center of what doctors are calling an obesity epidemic. Doctors now estimate more than 1 billion adults around the world are overweight and more than 300 million are clinically obese. But now, not even the younger generation is safe. NBC 15's Cassie Fambro joins us now and explains what exactly it is putting millennials at greater risk for some cancers. Well, Kim and Greg, doctors say it's shocking. Every millennial aged person needs to be aware that cancer rates, especially in people born between 1981 and 1996, have skyrocketed. They're higher than ever before. Cancers that used to only affect people later in life are popping up in younger people more than ever before. Doctors like Dr. John Godwin say it's tied to what the scale says. It's estimated that a third of our young people are overweight, but if the trends keep going, that could increase to more than half of young people. The types of cancer that are more common in young people than ever before are colorectal, endometrial, gallbladder, kidney, pancreatic and multiple myeloma, all associated with obesity. Dr. Godwin calls it an epidemic. We spoke with South Alabama students who say they know they should make healthy choices, but say it's hard to do. You don't have as much time, obviously. Uh, time management's a big thing, and I guess if you're studying a lot and you don't eat the proper diet, you eat a lot of junk food. Try to stay away from the snacks, really. That's really fattening. Don't eat what you're supposed to, and then you're like, oh no! Others said they'd like to make better choices, but fast food is simply cheaper than some healthier options. Right, you don't yeah. really have the funds to the eat. The funds to get like the proper food that you should right. eat to make your, to benefit your health yeah. and stuff like that. USA football player Daquan Bryant says he has to make healthy choices or he can't play well. Your body is kind of like a car, so it's very important to put good fuel in it. Because, you know, you don't want to put bad stuff in your body, then you're not able to perform like you should. Dr. Godwin says more education is desperately needed to make sure young adults see old age. People are, uh, have a conversation now about uh, the opioid epidemic, but just as important is the obesity epidemic that's happening in this country. Now another factor, people who are considered obese often have a worse cancer prognosis, especially if surgery is needed. Greg and Kim.